Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the top five stories. At number one, according to report, about 50 children have been confirmed dead following an outbreak of measles in Kubu clan of Abua, Odua, local government area of River State. The state government responding to the issue has dispatched a fact-finding team to the affected communities. The Federal Ministry of Health says the River State Government is yet to report the matter in order to prompt action. The Chairman Community Development Committee of Emago Kubo, Levi Marcus, had confirmed the development to newsmen in Port Harcourt. At number two, the Nigerian Communications Commission's Computer Security Incident Response Team has flagged a new malware hidden ad which has infiltrated Google Play Store and can impact device performance and jeopardize users' privacy. In its August 8 advisory, the response team classified the virus, first identified by the McAfee mobile research team as high in probability and damage potential. It said the malware infiltrated the Google Play Store in the form of several device cleaners or optimization apps. At number three, the president, Muhammad Bari, on Monday nominated Muhammad Lamido as executive commissioner of finance and accounts for the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission. According to a statement signed by the Special Advisor to the President of Media and Publicity, Femi Adesino, Buari had forwarded the name of Lamido to the Senate, asking that his name should be confirmed. At number four, according to a statement, the United States is adopting a new strategy to work more closely with countries in the Sub-Saharan Africa and push back the influence of China and Russia in the region. This comes as the U.S. Secretary of State is on a three-nation Africa tour to promote the country's new strategy. It says the strategy reframes the region's important to U.S. national security interest. The U.S. further stated its plans to promote open societies in order to counter harmful activities by the People's Republic of China, Russia and other foreign actors while helping the region achieve democratic and security dividends. At number five, the Islamic Movement of Nigeria on Monday alleged that security agents had killed six of its members and injured about 40 others. IMN stated that the incident occurred during the group's Ashura morning procession in Zaria, Kaduna State. Also, the leader of the movement in Zaria, Abdul Hamid Bello, claimed that a combined team of security operatives shot indiscriminately at the members. The state police is yet to address the issue. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.